So I just finished work, I just came in here and took the clamps off the, the box. Um, the glue up went fairly, fairly good considering the wood wasn't the best to work with but more clamps made it a little bit less easier. So that's about it. Still got to cap the sides with something and then we can give it a, another sand and we can split it in half but on the way home from work um, there was a skip bin on the side of the road. Um, I thought you know, I might as well just have a quick look what was in there. It was on a, like a back street and there was just no one around anyway. End up pulling out some three quarter inch plywood. Um, plywood's extremely expensive, especially you know three quarter inch. It's a little bit wet because it has been raining but I'm just gonna let it dry out for a little while. I don't really have any plans for it as such so I got you know, a few pieces there um, that will come in handy for something um, especially being so thick and three quarter inch. If I did have to buy a, a small piece I would have to buy an actual sheet to get the small piece out of it which would cost me an arm and a leg. So that's really about it. Um, I'm glad that the box is dried and it's for the pallet wood being as warped and as shit as it was. I mean look at the pallet, I mean it's not the best of pallets. Um, the box has come out good. I'm not going to say great because I haven't finished it yet. but. Um, yeah, so all I've got to do is cap the ends like I said. Um, I've got to fix a little bit of a split in the side and I've got to split the box in two so I can form a lid and a bottom. Um, then I've got to make some sort of a little insert to hold the, the torch and there's a flint in there as well. And there's going to be a knife and I'm going to line it with some red felt but yeah, just getting ready to watch the game. It's about uh, almost three o'clock and it's Saturday the 4th of June, so I'm going to try to get this video uploaded um, today. Uh, this is this is actually another little interesting piece that I've really kind of been wanting to talk about. I use it fairly often. It's actually just a, you know, like a square for checking alignment. But I got it at a uh, like a little bit of a, it wasn't really a flea market. It was more like a um, kind of like a buy buy and sell type place where they get tools from deceased estates in. Um, this one happens to be made in England in um, Sheffield, England. I don't know if that's an actual place. Or I'm just reading it wrong. It's kind of hard to hard to read but it's a little bit rusty it's still got the marking of four dollars on it that I paid actually I think I paid like a dollar or something for it but yeah kind of a cool vintage rustic piece which still works great today so yeah so that's really about it um, yeah so now I've been not so much slacking but the previous video I did put up wasn't the best but I just thought I would put it up my my computers are just absolutely garbage at the moment my laptop's a piece of shit my desktop is a piece of shit and I ain't gonna go out and spend a thousand bucks just to upload a YouTube video because as you all know you don't make any money off it so and in in the long run I didn't want to do this box to make any money, I wanted the box because I wanted the box, so yeah.